16. Unreal Animals That Actually Exist Number 16. The Mud Skipper These fish happen to be amphibious, which just means that they're capable of leaving the water and going on a dry land. Usually, they only leave the water to go and feed or to interact with others. This includes fighting off any rivaling males and courting potential mates. Number 15. The Hyrax The Hyrax is a small little mammal that is usually mistaken for being pikas or other rodents, but oddly, they're actually closely related to manatees and elephants. Weird, right? There are only four species of hyrax that can be found living only in the Middle East and Africa. Hyraxes live in a small family group where they are dominated by the alpha male who protects their territory from other males. Number 14, the silky chicken. This is perhaps the cutest animal on this list while also being the fluffiest. Just look at it. It looks like a walking pillow. Besides their wonderful fluff, silky chickens have other weird traits, like the fact that they have black skin and bones, blue earlobes, and five toes instead of the normal four a chicken possesses. These birds are even known for being the calmest and the friendliest out of all the other species of poultry. Definitely pet material. Number 13, the zebra duiker. It might look like a small zebra hybrid, but the zebra duiker is technically classified as a small species of antelope. They reside in mostly Liberia, but they can sometimes be found in Guinea. They survive off a diet of mostly seeds, fruit, and other vegetation, but there is evidence that supports them eating small rodents from time to time. Their nasal bone has evolved to become well reinforced in order to help them to break through the hard outside layer of specific fruits. It's the two common factors of overhunting, habitat loss, and deforestation that has caused them to be classified as vulnerable. Number 12, the tuft deer. These deer are widely known for their tusks that make them look like vampires such as their nickname, the Vampire Deer, suggests. Only the males are capable of growing out their canines. Their conservation status is listed at being near-threatened because of habitat loss and overhunting. Since they only live in the forested mountain ranges of central China and northeastern Myanmar, it's considered very hard to study these animals at 4,500 meters above sea level. Number 11. The Tarsier. This wide-eyed critter can only be found living in the islands of Southeast Asia. Tarsiers were once found in several other locations around the world, which we now know thanks to fossil records. But now, they're solely limited to one area. These extremely shy primates are strictly carnivorous and are known to prey on mostly insects, but they'll also eat snakes, birds, and even bats. Their bulging eyes are the same size as their brain. Number 10, the Mark Hor. The Mark Hor is a large species of goat that lives in several different areas of the Middle East and Asia. It was just recently in 2015 that the Mark Hor's conservation status was changed from being near threatened to least concern, as their population has seen a 20% increase in the past few years. Fun fact, this animal happens to be the national animal of Pakistan. Number nine, the raccoon dog. No, these dogs aren't related to raccoons, but they do happen to get their name for looking like a close relative of those little masked bandits. Raccoon dogs are native to the eastern region of Asia, but are considered to be an invasive species ever since they were introduced into the local area. What's interesting to note is that these dogs often climb trees. The selling of their fur by retail companies has been the center of many scandals. Number eight, the dole. The endangered canid can be found living in the regions of South, Central, and Southeast Asia. Here, they face the threat of habitat loss, persecution, and must compete against other animals such as tigers and leopards for food sources. They're known to hunt in packs during the day and live in social packs that contain a hierarchy built on dominance. Unlike most domestic animals, they've been deemed as completely untamable due to their shy and vicious nature. Number seven, the geoduck. This is a geoduck, but you probably recognize it as just an ordinary old clam. These saltwater clams are found throughout the west coast of North America and are edible. The most interesting thing about these animals is their very long siphons that can grow to be almost three and a half inches long by themselves. Not only that, but this is the largest burrowing clam in the world that can live up to 140 years old, making it one of the longest living creatures to ever exist. The oldest geoduck on record was recorded at being 168 years old. Number six, the giant isopod. These nightmare-inducing crustaceans dwell in the cold, deep waters of the Indian, Pacific, and Atlantic oceans. They closely resemble pill bugs, although that's not much of a surprise as they are related to them. They were first described back in 1879, which means that they've been known to the public for quite some time now. Now, B. giganteus is capable of reaching between seven and a half 
to 14.2 inches. Number five, a deformed chittle deer. This might look like a strange new species of deer, but no, it's just a regular deer. What makes it look peculiar are its antlers. Normally, they're supposed to form upwards, but it isn't uncommon to come across a deer with downward growing antlers. The possible reason for this to occur is most likely due to injury. The deer possibly hit its antlers on a tree while they were growing and caused a blood vessel to either rupture or clot. Thus, the flow of blood gets disrupted and must find a new path to flow. Number four, the cassowary. This flightless bird can be found living in the tropical forests of northeastern Australia and New Guinea. They live off a diet of mostly fruit. However, they're considered to be omnivorous and will feed on smaller animals. Typically, the cassowary is a very shy animal, but you do not want to get these birds angry. They're able to inflict heavy damage by using their massive claws and can produce fatal injuries in humans and dogs. Number three, the lowland streaked tenric. This small mammal can be found living only on the island of Madagascar, where its conservation status is currently classified as being least concerned. These little critters only grow to be around seven ounces and come equipped with barbed quills on their body. This helps them defend against predators such as the fusa and the Malagasy mongoose. These are the only mammals that use stridulation to create sound, which is mostly commonly used by snakes and insects. Number two, the scorpion fly. These insects are known as Macoptera and are referred to as scorpion flies because of their resemblance to a scorpion. The stinger that you see isn't really the fly's tail, but rather only a trait that the males possess because it's actually their enlarged genitalia. Scorpion flies are known to feed on dead organisms and live inside the bodies of dead humans. However, the body must be fresh in order to sustain the proper living conditions. And now for number one. But first, be sure to subscribe for new videos every day. The Ant Mimicking Tree Hopper. You're probably looking at this and wondering, what even is this thing? Well, given the title of Ant Mimicking Tree Hopper, you can pretty much guess that this isn't actually a real ant. No, Siphonia clavida here is specifically designed by evolution, only appear as an ant, much like how other insects and spiders do. The black ant part of the tree hopper is really just a bunch of extension growths from its body. If you look closely, you'll see that the creature's eye is in the circular shape located towards the brown area near its legs. The reason the ant is positioned backwards is because when ants are in defense mode, they move backwards. So when the tree hopper moves forwards, that's the illusion it creates.